Seven. Here we go. See the spark? Uh-huh. There it is. <laughs> and Endeavor's in the air. Listen for it. You'll hear it. It went right, yep. through right through the clouds. It's gone. Since we got no more visual, I'm gonna come back here and catch the audio. That's pretty cool. Three engines now throttling down as Endeavor uh, passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Approaching one minute into the flight. You hear the rumble? You hear it, Chris? Endeavor, go and throttle up. You hear the rumble over there? hear the sound pressure, sound wave from the rocket. It's on up there in the sun somewhere. But you hear it? Can you feel it? No. I don't feel it. I mean, you wouldn't feel it in the ground. I mean, you feel it in your ears. I don't feel it. Okay. Well. That's pretty neat. You see the shadow it produced through the clouds. Let's go back and get some more audio. I thought it might pop out this other side. 200 miles per hour, downrange 50 miles, altitude 37 miles, all systems in good shape. Oh, Three good uh, hydraulic miles systems, in the air. auxiliary power units and fuel cells. The fuel cells providing electrical power to all of the systems.
heading into space on the forward flight deck is Commander Mark Kelly and pilot Greg Johnson. Between and behind them is flight engineer Roberto Vittori. And rounding out the flight deck crew is Mike Fink.
residual items floating away there, uh, typically particles of ice that accumulated on the back end of the orbiter during the uh, tanking process while it was sitting on the launch pad. By all indications, all of the flight control uh, team uh, here in Mission Control uh, reporting normal ascent calls all the way uphill. Uh, uh, from this early standpoint, uh, there were no issues at all with any of the systems aboard Endeavour. cars were parked way down there in the middle, about, oh, I'd say about 150 yards away. Of course, everybody trying to get the hell off the island, even though the bridge is going to be closed for two hours. me wedged in between the RVs. Beautiful. This concludes this tape. Y'all enjoy.